Please happy Monday. Happy Vlogtober day 25. Uh, it's 11.40 right now. I already had coffee. And I'm going to make my lunch. You guys, my laptop... My laptop is like on the verge of dying. I can't get it to turn on. I'm working on it, so I don't know if I'm gonna have to get a new laptop or what, but I'm gonna use AJ's laptop once he, once he gets off of school. I'm gonna borrow his laptop so I can edit the videos that I need to edit. Um, I have two videos that I need to upload actually, because yesterday I didn't upload the Vlogtober video since we were you know, traveling home. I didn't have time to do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna borrow his laptop and I don't know, hopefully I can get my computer fixed. If not, I'm gonna get a new computer. My computer is old. It's, I mean, it's getting old. <laughs> it's probably time for a new one anyways, but like I didn't really wanna spend the money on a new laptop. Anyways, I wanna try this. I bought this instant pho at Costco. I've never tried it before, so I want to try it. You can either put hot water or you can put it in the microwave. So it just looks like that. Like it just has the noodles and then all the little packet soup base, like dried veggies and stuff and some oil. So let me get this ready and then um, I'll show you guys. My laptop kept on crashing. Like when I was editing the video, iMovie kept crashing and like it just kept freezing. And so I had to keep restarting my computer. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Let me try to update my software because it had needed, like it's been needing to be updated. So I went to go update the software and that's when it like got all messed up. Oh my gosh. I had to go into like recovery mode and then um, I'm trying to reinstall the update right now. It says 12 minutes remaining, so hopefully it doesn't get stuck because that's when it got stuck earlier. Can I have something, some pancake please? I just want to eat one. And then can you bring out the kimchi, the one in the bowl? With the, the, um, um, the leftover kimchi, thank you. Oh my god! And then when I went to go make my soup, there was a hole in this cup, in this bowl, and the water was dripping everywhere when I was filling it at the water dispenser. So I just put it in a bowl. Okay, I don't even know if my noodles are cooked. Let me... Let me warm it up when you're done. Up a bit. We have leftover seafood pancakes. She likes that. I love these. They're so good. From the Korean grocery store. Mmm. And kimchi. Today we're going to go to Winco after work. And probably go to Costco too. I have a couple of things that I need to return. I just bought this recently. The dryer sheet. So I'm going to return this because we bought the CVS one. So I'm going to return that. And then I have another pajama that I need to return. Oh, also, I got this package from my friend Jason. I opened it yesterday, but I, I didn't show you guys. I didn't have time. So I'll show you guys what's in there after I eat. And... That's about it. I need to make my grocery list and uh, my Costco list. And then I need to ask Papa Bear to build the storage rack. Probably don't have time to do that today, but yeah, I need to build the storage rack. And that's it. Okay, let me warm this up longer and then I'll come back and do a taste test for you guys. I just checked on my laptop and it's, it's, it's not working. <laughs> it got stuck at the same part where it got stuck last time. So I'm trying to see if I can restore it from a backup on my time machine. Um, so we'll see if that works. If not, I'm going to need Apple support because <laughs> I, I don't know what else to do. 
The seafood pancakes are so good. If you guys have ever had like a Filipino crab torta, this is what it, it tastes like this. <laughs> what? Kimchi. <laughs> okay you guys let's give this a try i'm out of i'm out of hoisin so i just added sriracha mm. sorry i'm too lazy to get a spoon this is actually pretty good like for what it is you can add some I should add cilantro. Yeah, if you add like all your regular toppings and stuff, it's pretty good. It's obviously like a very tiny, tiny bowl. Um, but yeah, it's good. 230 calories. It's not bad. I like it. It's five o'clock, you guys. It is raining so hard. It's been raining most of the day, but it really picked up right now. So we were gonna go to Winco and Costco, but we're just gonna wait. We're gonna go tomorrow because we don't wanna drive in this type of weather. And we have food here anyways. So yeah, we'll go grocery shopping tomorrow. Oh, an update on my laptop. Yeah, my laptop is dead, you guys. Rest in peace to my laptop. So um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get a new laptop. In the meantime, I am using AJ's laptop. He has a MacBook. Um, that's a Mac, a new MacBook Air, right? Yeah. The one that I have is the MacBook Pro, but it's it's really old. So with the new laptops, they actually don't come with the memory card reader on the side. So we had to buy the adapter. So AJ went to Best Buy and bought me the USB-C uh, S to SD reader yeah. adapter. So I was able to upload my footage to his laptop and edit the video. And I'm gonna continue using his laptop until I get my new laptop. So, yeah. Okay, anyways, um, I remembered I have this salmon. So I'm gonna cook this salmon and we're gonna make the TikTok salmon bowl. Emily Mariko, I think her name is. So I'm gonna cook this salmon first. Um, AJ doesn't eat fish, so I'll probably just make him, I'll just fry some spam. Um, but yeah, um, Vanessa wants this too, and then Papa Bear. You like salmon, right? I'm gonna cook spam too, just in case if you guys don't like it. So it's basically just like salmon, rice, and then she puts um, QP mayo, which is Japanese mayo, and then sriracha, and you can put like avocado if you want, and then you eat it with like the seaweed, um, seaweed snack. So the dried seaweed. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't have QP mayo, but I just have, um, I have spicy mayo instead of using like mayo and sriracha. So I'll use that. I'm gonna season this up. I'll probably put it in the oven and I'll show you guys what it looks like once once I'm done. I keep on putting, I keep putting on my, my jacket, my sweater, and then I get hot, so I take it off. And then I get cold and then I put it back on and it's like a on off type of thing. But anyways, I'm just waiting for the rice to cook a little bit more, like, because I just started the rice. I'm going to wait before I cook the salmon. But anyways, I, I got a package on Saturday from my friend Jason. I told you guys yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to show it to you guys. So I'll show you guys what he sent. So sweet. Um, okay, so he got some candy for the kids. Trolley, Sour Bite Octopus, and Sour... sour Sour Bright, sorry, Sour Bright Octopus and the Crawlers. And also Sour Patch Kids. And Mike and Ike. And then here's like the main, the main event. The main, <laughs> the main thing he got me. He's so freaking sweet, you guys. Because he knew I was looking for the Disney pajamas at Costco. But my Costco, they didn't have my size. And they just... They don't even have it. Like the last couple of times I've gone there, they don't even have it anymore. So he got me the gray one and also the pink one. The pink one is so cute. Well, they're both cute, but the pink one, this is a new, I think 
this is a new print because they have this print in the short set, like the short sleeve and shorts, like for summer. And like, look at the mini, the mini mouse pink one. That's how it looks. It's so cute. I love it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Thank you so much, Jason. Here's the salmon. I just um, sprayed the foil just so it doesn't stick. And I seasoned the fish with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Trader Joe's umami seasoning. And then I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil on top. And that's it. I'm gonna bake it in the oven. So here is the salmon. We have our seaweed. These are like the big packs from Costco. So there's like, it's huge. And then we also have spam. We have sriracha mayo. I just decided to cook extra spam because everybody wanted spam. So you have salmon and spam. I'm back in this same spot. I feel like I haven't left this spot all day. Um, it is 7.47 right now. And as you can see, I'm taking off my nails. So I took off the nail polish with my electric file, my e-drill, I, I think that's what you call it. I took off all the nail polish and then I have, I soaked the cotton ball with acetone Put that on my nail and then the clip is just holding the acetone or the cotton ball i mean yeah the clips are just holding the cotton onto my nail i'm gonna let them soak for like 10 minutes and then we'll see if the nails come off um i'm not gonna redo my nails tonight though because it does take me a couple of hours so i will probably redo my nails on friday because i get off of work early on fridays so i'll probably do my nails on friday Today, I was going to talk to you guys about Disneyland. Today, they increased their prices. So the ticket prices went up and also the parking price went up. So parking used to be $25, now it's $30. Ticket prices went up between $5 and $20 depending on how many days and which tier. They also added a sixth tier, um, which they never had before. And I think they added a six-day ticket, I think. Did they? I think, yeah. You guys, honestly, $25 was already a lot of money for parking. $30, in my opinion, is just too much. That's just too much. That's so expensive. And then the ticket prices, obviously, we all know they were already so expensive. And then they just increased it again. Disneyland is getting to be so expensive. And it's sad because a lot of people can't afford to go to Disneyland anymore because it's just so expensive. And now there's no free fast passes. You have to pay for the Genie Plus when whenever they do bring that to Disneyland. Um, there's still no tram, but they did say trams are coming next year. So it's like you have to pay $30 to park in the garage and then walk all the way to the park entrance. I just feel like it's just, they're getting like, they're becoming like too much, you guys. They're just, it's too expensive. And honestly, it kind of like takes away from like the joys of Disneyland. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, like to me, it kind of just takes it away. Let me know what your thoughts are on the price increase at Disneyland. Like, do you agree with me? It's just so expensive now that like, I don't know, it takes away from like the joy of Disneyland. And also, it's so hard to get reservations. Like if you're an annual pass holder, it's so hard to get a reservation. And then also they said today the Dream Pass is sold out. The Dream Pass was the only pass that came with free parking and now it's sold out. So it's just, I don't know you guys. It's just sad. Um, Steuven. <gasps> what is that? It's me, your conscience. Oh, hello, conscience. I've never heard of you before. Well, we haven't spoken much oh, these days. I guess meditating really works. Um, Steven, I have to tell you something. What is it? I am a ghost. What? And I will haunt your dreams. What? If you don't listen to what I say. Okay. No need to get serious here. No need to get scary. Okay. We're on the same page. Okay, what is it? I want you to stop meditating, Steven, and listen very closely. Oh, okay. I'm listening. Uh, 
Hello? Wow. It's me, Stuven, your conscience. Oh, you're back. Where'd Sorry, you I has to use the bathroom. Oh, no worries. Anyways, I have a three-step plan for you, Stuven, on how you can become famous. One, move out of this house. Oh. Two, star in your own movie. <laughs> oh, I already done that. Star in another movie. Oh, okay, already on it. And three, let me haunt your dreams. Oh, I don't think that's possible. I'm sorry, conscience. But I'll have to, I have to work you out now. I'm gonna have to block you out from my mind. I'm still here, Stuven. What? Because I am a ghost and you can't stop me. Hey, man. What are you doing messing with me? <laughs> I was meditating. Or were you? Double me.